Uh, good evening. Uh, the meeting of the Community Preservation Co uh, Committee will come together uh, at about six after seven on November 8th. And we have a fairly lengthy um, agenda tonight. And uh, Bill, you're going to go first to talk about some of your ideas for improving our processes. So go for sure, it. Sure, sure. Okay, I'll go. So you can see. Yeah, that's okay. Screen. We're just teasing you here. So yeah. Uh, yeah. Um, so these are just some things that I put together over the summer while I was, uh, you know, not on vacation. <laughs> um, coming off of last year. So basically, you know, three things, you know, helping with our transparency, accountability, um, and visibility. So and I think you guys talked about this last meeting. In terms of transparency, you know, we have a very clear mission and we look for projects and we say this, these are the projects we want. But we, I would say one thing that I was thinking about and I think is worth some discussion is kind of a scoring solution, some criteria that might help people understand and might help um, the community better understand why we're saying yes or no so that they could look at the categories and it might help people reapply or find a project or some, in some cases, and we have nonprofits who might have different projects um, or multiple projects to come before the committee over years and it might help them refine um, what they need to do to get there or the types of things that we can do and, and help. So, um, so I, you know, and I think the, material that uh, Denovan shared from other communities could be helpful. So that we have criteria and sort of a scoring system, um, you know, much like the town's capital plan where they have a bunch of criteria and then it's a point system and the projects that move up the point system get funded, you know. And so we could also use that with our, you know, our budget for the year to say, you know, and that would could be one of the criteria, how it fits into this particular year's budget. But it would also help in terms of, you know, you, where we drew the line. We, and I know John can speak to this better than I can, but X amount of, of each year's funds have to go to, to right. Right. right, right. So that would be included within the uh, yeah. story, um, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah you, you, you would definitely have to do that. And I mean, you know, Sometimes it's, I, I think, I think having some parameters and rules is important. I, and, you know, I think both of what both of you guys are doing makes, makes sense. But it's, it's a little tricky because sometimes the decision's binary. Uh, a proposal could come in, we like the proposal, but it doesn't fit the mandate. I mean, it's just, you know, it's, it's like you could score it whatever way you want, but it doesn't fit with the criteria of CPA, so we can't fund it, period. Well, so, to yeah. me, I, I totally agree, but to me, that's part of the scoring system and, or part of the evaluation that we talked about last time. Well, is, right. Do, does it meet the of, criteria? Yeah, I mean, no. Uh, it's almost like a first step. I think I, you yep, roll through a sequence of steps it, it, exactly. is that doesn't mean it or not, totally. and then you know uh, you you move through. So um, that's what I mean. So I think to some degree, you're, what you're going to find is you're going to find a decision path and some SOC criteria. And I think probably what we'll end up with is is a hybrid of some of the ideas that you've had, some of the ideas, Bill, that you have, and some of the ideas that we've always done, but we've done implicitly, perhaps, and uh, not as explicitly as, as maybe we should. So, but in the end, you find there's, you know, logic for sort of all the proposals in terms of what, what we've done. I mean, we've, you know, we, we fortunately have rarely been in a decision where, uh, in a situation where we've had such an overwhelming number of projects that we have had to defer extremely uh, worthwhile and meritorious uh, projects. What, what typically has happened is somebody comes in with an idea and it's not ripe yet, 
and we work with them over the course of a year. You know, if you look at it, that's that's the reason why in a lot of cases with the historical society with uh, related to Machine Shop Village, uh, related to Stevens Estate, why we've asked, and, and the Housing Authority, why we've asked studies to be done because right. let's do a study so that we have the priority set right. And that that is, you know, again, that's an implicit process that we followed Maybe you bake it into the rules or not. Maybe you put it into the rules is if, if this is a large scale thing with multiple pieces, maybe we should do a study first, something right. like that. Well, yeah. Isn't that a perfect example? If someone comes in and their idea is not fully baked yet, now they've got something as a reference yeah. for how we're going to end up judging the project down the road. That will yeah. guide their their process and their process as they develop yeah. the project for us. Yeah. I mean, I think there's some of that. Uh, there's some of it that inevitably that's part of the reason why we want people to come in as early as possible with an idea and come talk to us because we can see if it is, you know, robust enough uh, quickly. But I think where, where we end up, you know, if, if you think about it, because the Housing Authority is a good example and it's the one we're contending with now, is we get a bunch of projects coming in and, yeah, they look okay and they make sense, but if we've got so many of them we're consistently doing, maybe we ought to step back and look at it more holistically and systemically. And, you know, and I mean, I work well with the historical society, I work really well with Stevens Estate, and, um, you know, so that that would be a model that we would encourage. I mean, we, we didn't do it with the library. We probably should have, but uh, we didn't do it with them, yeah. And we really don't want something that's just okay. We want a really good, strong, solid project. And sometimes a lot of these studies will ferret out the uh, projects that really aren't that, you know, great. Uh, so I think it's a good thing. I think, too, over time. Um, the types of projects and the things that are starting to be done are becoming bigger and bigger. Yeah. And, and, and not the, um, the simpler straightforward kind of project so I think it's kind of growing pains and I think putting something like this in place is a good thing um, again with I liked last week when we, last time when we talked about the checklist mm -hmm. I think I think that's great and I think um, any of those kinds of things are gonna just back up the types of decisions we were making anyway so. yeah. Yeah, and I think the big part of it is giving that back and having that as a piece of feedback that people can see and say, okay, you know, I, I have a project around this idea. I can look at what somebody else did and how it was received, and then, you know, you kind of set the pathway for future groups, too, in the way that you respond to, to current requests. Have you cross-checked what you've got, Bill, against what Denovan did? Because I think we ought to end up with a composite. Yeah, uh, yeah. Because I haven't made up a scorecard. I, I was kind of saying, this is the idea, and Denovan said, here's a template. You know, so I think it's, I think it's kind of, you know, maybe a, a subcommittee or a working session to kind of workshop it and say, like, okay, we've got this idea, this template, how do we want to adjust that's it? That's a great idea. Yeah. Well, I think it sounds like a lot of what we discussed in our next agenda item, too, a lot of these details we're going through. Right for the yeah, pretty, pretty, pretty I mean, there's also something that... Uh, it, it, you know, it, this is, maybe I'll, I'll use a, a little bit of an analogy from the planning board, um, uh, and, but I've seen it happen here, is that, you know, the planning board, we've got a lot of rules, we got rules and regulations, we've got this, we got that, we got all sorts of things, you know, the zoning law, this right. and and I will tell you, I almost could tell within five minutes of somebody walking whether what they got is any good or not. And it has to do with how good the developer is and how good the engineer is. And to some degree you're gonna see this phenomenon with CPA is that some applicants just have thought through their issues better than others and inevitably they will. And you know, we want to encourage everybody to have a minimum standard of thoroughness, but it's not always going to happen. Right. You know, and so. I also think that that those people that are in the middle that aren't that well versed in it, but have an idea, should get guidance from us on how yeah. to develop that. Yeah. So. Uh, one, one, I guess, question on this, and this is more of just a generic question for the committee is. You know, if we do establish this criteria going forward, is there any value in doing a bit of a look back over previous years in terms of how projects would have stacked up to make sure that as we're developing this criteria that it meets 
previous thresholds that have been set. But I know it's, it's not, you don't want to look at back and, and say, okay, well, we're setting these decisions, I, but. I think that's exactly fair to say, but I mean, I, I've actually spent a lot of time thinking about that and going back and sort of looking at them and sort of seeing the results. And um, I can honestly say there's not a single decision we made I would have made differently, uh, either what we funded or what we didn't fund. I don't know of any single thing where if I had to do it over again, I would have done it differently. Yeah, uh -huh. my assumption is that most of the projects that were funded so far were probably following these guidelines. Yeah. Even if not explicitly yeah. out for the public, we're already following them, so they're probably. But, yeah. but I mean, it's it's not it's probably not a bad idea to do that with a few of them in each of the categories and say, you know, what would, would we have asked people to do a little bit differently if, if we were having them come do it again? Yeah. I think, too, moving forward with this and, you know, making these shifts and changes, and I mentioned last time too, um, I, I don't feel comfortable going to a complete point system and having that be the final line, because I think the um, the, the the passion and and, and yeah. everything put into the yeah. the people that come here to yeah. to, to ask for funding yeah. and and the hours of thoughtful discussion and heartbreaking yeses and noes and everything. I, I don't want to lose that to just a number. Right. Completely agree. No, yeah, I, I think we're all down okay. Well, I think at the end of the day, I mean, one of the things we, you know, is we have to either th through subcommittee or, or, or working sessions or what have you is create this scorecard. But at the end of the day, John's going to call for a vote, you right. know, on every project. So that emotion, that, that the, you know, that you, yeah. what you find personal merit in, that's yep. still at the end of the day. The scorecard, we still have to vote. Right. So our scorecards could be, yours could be high on something and, and, and Deb's could be low on something, but we're, our votes are all equal. You, you, you know? Yeah, the scorecard isn't. Not it's not the be all and end all, it's right? A guide. You know, it but it's a guide. guide. Yeah. It's a guide. That, you know, that somebody comes to us in November and they're uh, 65, and they come back in right. in February and they're 90 because they've. What I like about it is that it definitely, like like MB said, it's going to help those that aren't fully prepared to present their projects in in. Um, or don't really understand what they're actually coming to ask us for. This is going to be a wonderful guide, I agree. a wonderful guide. And I think there's a lot of organizations out there that probably don't even know how to approach us or which way to go. So yep. I love that aspect of it. So uh, I think I, I mean I don't know, John, that this is the appropriate time, but I would love to you know move at some point oh, some sort of working committee or or well or, yeah let me sort of I want to tie in the second item to the first one it. because yep. one of the things that we have to do is we have our form to collect the submissions and what I'd like to do is I, I it, we need to get it out fairly quickly it's probably not going to be able to include everything that we're talking oh, about no, here yeah. but I'd like to get a little I'd like to make it a little bit more robust um, and what I thought might make sense is if everybody was okay with this is because I had ended up putting it together many years ago is go back and take the first crack of editing it to add maybe a page or two of some more detail based on what you guys have done and then share it with everybody and have everybody be you know before the next meeting get back to me because I like to go live with it but you know I feel like it's it's a mini version of what I think you want to do but I I I'd, I'd almost if we can get a half dozen or a dozen things into the thing that we don't have today I think that would be a first step forward and it's something we need to do anyway if, if everybody was okay with that, so, yeah. yeah. And the second thing is sort of thinking about how we, um, you know, hold what we have. And I know we've made leaps and bounds over the past few years, especially in terms of, you know, documentation and, and so forth. And I think inwardly, I think inwardly we have a lot better, you know, documentation on what comes up from applicants and what goes out and so forth. Um, but I know like in some of the projects are, you know, historically have been open for a long time and sometimes the money 
sort of trickles. Some are very event driven, like we're going to put up a playground this year. It's pretty simple, you know, and it gets done quickly because people need to play on it and so forth. And others, you know, like the gravestones where you have to wait for the gravestone refinishers to be in the area or something like that. And I know there's going to be differences, but I think there's, you know, there's an opportunity to tighten that up in such a way that that could be an outward facing portal to the world that could be pretty easy. Yeah. For the finance committee, did the finance committee do a version of that, you know, of making stuff available to the public? Because, I mean, I, it feels to me you're, you're absolutely right that our web presence is bad. And, you know, we had it for a while because we had a couple of people on the committee that were really good at that, and they were allowed to go in and, and you know, yeah. play around with it. But, you know, how you, what you put out there, how you put it out there, what sort of pictures you put out there, all that sort of stuff is... With yeah. the finance committee, we did a lot of stuff with documents and folders, and because it was very sort of text-based, you know, it was this was our meeting, these are the materials, and so forth. So it was mostly that information, which you know our stuff is posted the same way in terms of meeting minutes. Um, there are a couple pieces of analysis we put out there. Um, you know, then you, you know um, the town actually doing the whole visual budget thing. Uh, tool like widget that could be on the was a big change because it, you know I don't know if you guys are familiar with it but you could type in like what are my property taxes you know for example if you said my property taxes are you know four thousand dollars you could see how much of your property tax went to different categories which is you know uh, yeah 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 so on the accountability in this regard, like I don't know what you're actually so saying we I, should do. I, th it may be easier to jump to the solution. What, what I'm really oh, thinking yeah. here is <laughs> <laughs> what what I'm Sorry. yeah. So I mean that's the the issue. You know what you know what I'm what I'm thinking here is that you know we should have a web a web presence and we should build something and I think it's actually pretty easy from, and uh, it would be a pretty easy database to build. So basically what it would be is kind of a, could have a map of the town, all our projects would be little, you know, you could do it in Google, I'm sure, very simply. I mean, the, the town already pays for all these services. It'd be very easy. And really, what, what, what we want to capture is, where are our projects? What's the documentation on them? what's the progress on them. So, so essentially what would happen is we'd have a clickable map, you know, say I did this for the community fields project just because I knew where it was on the map and I could, <laughs> you know, so basically we'd build this dashboard, you'd see a little thing, it would say community fields, you'd have a picture, and then it would link to, you know, kind of a database and you could see, you know, our, the application. This is the application that they put forward. Then the next thing could be the quarterly reports. And really, that could be something that we could build quite easily into a simple form. So instead of somebody, so I think it's a great idea. Yeah. I so I, I think, it's I think the best we, thing we could do. But who I, would do it? I think for the us? best, easiest, fastest way to get this done would be to put a scope out for RFP and just say, you know, it's it's a fairly simple project. <laughs> what? Who keeps it up? It's project up to project. Yeah. To project. It, it, I think once you get it built, I think it would be very simple to to keep up with. Uh, um, an administrative with their no, I, I, I disagree I, I, with you. No, you, I think it would take a fair amount of work. I do, I too. Think you're under well, I, yeah. I can speak to this. I actually haven't yeah. gone through the project for this for my company about a year ago. We, we're a real estate company. We actually built a web interface to manage all of our properties. So it's all web-based, yeah. manage right in WordPress. Yeah, but you, what, what, I think what we're losing but, is that is who in government is doing Are you doing it, Deb? Are you? Am I? Who's doing it? It's it is easy. Yeah. And, and, and the, the projects, I think, happen yeah, frequently yeah. or infrequently yeah. enough that a committee member could do it. It is, it is that easy. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, like, oh, yeah. you have somebody like in yours. Once it's built, work. it's easy. Yeah. Is it, yeah. But I mean, does somebody maintain it? Mm -hmm. uh, how long did it take to, to get so it up? We, we built it as a part of an entire website, which is about a, an eight month build. This would be, this was a small portion of it. and, and we probably did overkill because we're in the real estate business. Something done behind the scenes in Google could be managed behind, you know, out of the database so where simple. you make quick updates and the, the interface, the programming is all done up front. Right. It, it might concern having a little experience with government and not having a paid person in charge of this. 
my concern is 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 it falling off so you need it i mean i, I would st you know what i'm saying i mean bill you you've got some experience as well and and you know when left to committee members right. it does not always happen that's my my point is i think it's a two-part point one is that we sit down with like chris mcclure and say listen you know this is what we want to build you know maybe it's not maybe we wouldn't need an outside consultant maybe it could be done in-house would be a matter of scoping or maybe it's a, a situation where it could be done in-house with some funding i mean we have an administrative budget we, we traditionally do. haven't spent it correct uh and you know it it is certainly not something that would i believe take up no, very much break, time at all no. there would be an initial effort you know and we of could course. scope it out <clears throat> it would be something well, you'd scope out and say like this is what we this is what we want to do because a lot of this is just a warehouse i mean i I did, I did this for one. I mean, this a couple links, a Google Drive. No, I, I love the that's idea. That's just a repository. That's like a file cabinet. You know, that's like the file mm, structure mm. you build on your on yeah, your computer. But to you open have files. to. I mean, it, you're going to have to go through a certain amount of work because you have to decide what is what I'm going to call the metaphor of how you set the thing up and right. how you organize it and. You know, do you drive it like you have the, the, the metaphor in your case is a map, but do you do it by historical uh, you know, open space? Well, so, and, so hold on. Uh, so the yeah, good thing yeah. about that is is that there are literally experts out there, out there <laughs> the town who does. do this yes. all the time and can yeah. say, town this is how you do it. And, and I, I mean, I know companies, it, th this would literally take no time to set up. I mean, town this already has something. Th Right. Well, that's what I'm saying. I, th I think if we go to the town, I, yeah. I think that our IT department could easily do this and maintain it very easily. I, I really firmly believe that. So could I, could, I mean, what's the best way to engage them? Do you want to go talk to them? Do you want to have yeah, them come yeah, here? Or I, what's I, the... I, mean, I think we just yeah. go... Yes. I mean, I could sit down with them one on one and with a require, you know, we could come up with a requirement stock and, and kind of say, this is what we're looking to do, and then have him, you know, give us a response and say, this is, this is how we could accomplish it. And he could vet it through his department and say, this is what we can do. I'd make a motion to formally um, form a subcommittee to spearhead it. Okay. Yeah, I mean, do you want me to? No, I think that's, you know a, I mean? that's a great. I think we should do it. Um, I second that and I volunteer to. Yeah. So, uh, <laughs> good motion, man. Is all in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. So, who wants to be? Uh, sure. These three guys. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I'd say. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 It's funny because good for you guys. Something. It's a little similar great. work, but you know we have. We're trying to recreate a new SharePoint to capture all of our contracts because we've got hundreds and thousands, thousands of, of contracts. contracts and yeah. you, you know, it's 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 not the same thing, but it's a similar sort oh, yeah. of thing. Yeah. And you're right. And you can't. You, if you know anything about it, you can roll your own. Is, you is really what it comes down to. It's actually very similar to what uh, we're no, proposing. No personal. Uh, no, no plugs. No, no. no. <laughs> I was going to say, go to the Boston Redevelopment Authority oh, website. Yeah. They have this set up for every one of their projects that they approve. They're color coded based on they, they organize it by neighborhood within the city of Boston. Color coded by whether it's been approved, applied for, or under construction. Tracks it all through the process. Now we don't have the city of Boston budget. I understand that, uh -huh. but them and, and that we wouldn't need to be as robust. But if you want to see one of these in, in action, that's what they've done. So. Right, that's great. You know, I just think it'd be good to have. Have that web presence where people can kind of like, what does the CPT yeah. do? We splash it out, and you got this yeah. thing yeah, covered the, with the, dots. The, I agree. I think it makes dots. a huge amount yeah. of difference, and then we, we become a credible part of the company's. Yeah. I mean, the the town's web presence, which is what yeah. we want. So yeah, okay, that's great. all right. So we can yeah. move. I, I do believe Terry's talked about something like this online in the past with yeah. the pictures. I mean, he's taking lots of pictures. pictures. Everybody oh, yeah. loves you pictures. Know, I mean, so you like, know, I mean, that's I the kind of thing when you get part of this, you might. You know, uh, I'm gonna, I'll talk to Stuart and see if they can give us any technical assistance from what they do at the state level. Um, you know, the state database for the projects is awful. Yeah. I mean, it is. Yeah, it's but, just. Yeah. So, in you know, um, as we discussed last time, I did a lot of looking around at, at different CPC websites throughout the Commonwealth, and there are there are municipalities that do this already. Yeah. You know what I mean? So th there's also that. Uh, avenue to go down is to you know call them up and say hey your site looks great tell us how you did have it. Have you found any that you really liked? 
I, I have, you know, um, not, not that I can recite off the top of my head here, but I'd be happy to email, I have a list. Yeah, I mean, no harm in stealing people's no, ideas. No. <laughs> not at all. They can probably roll it right up and turn it yeah. into a switch. Exactly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. So. But like, like those, we already had them somewhere within the town, yeah. some level yeah, of capability. Right. Yeah, yeah. Right. Yeah. 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 So that's sort of easy. We'll move on. Um, and then my, my last part on kind of visibility is, you know, is our best visibility is on the tax bill, you know, with the line item for the CPC surcharge. Um, and I think... They don't even ask. <laughs> <laughs> it's crazy. Um, but, what, you know, one of the things I think is we've been talking about signage for a while and increasing our vis visibility, and I think, you know, maybe the approach is to be a little bit more proactive and to say, like, instead of saying we want you to include some signage, to say, like, pass it across the table and say it's going to have a sign right. and it's going to look like this, yeah. you know, and... and yeah, I, I mean, uh, in some respects, the signage probably is most prominent on open space projects, but it's also on a lot of historical projects as well. Yeah. Um, we ought to, I mean, Deb, you guys are involved in signage with, yeah, the, with the chaos. Yeah, with the chaos. So what we would want is, I mean, have, it, it, do you have consistent signage for the properties that are just town properties that are not CPA properties? I am not sure. Um, I think moving forward we are having them, but I don't know about the older open space um, properties. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, I, but I'll find out about that. Yeah. John, see if you address the zoning. Is it already covered under existing zoning? What's that? Signage. <laughs> so I laugh because signage is like the plague of zoning. Of course. Uh, <laughs> the absolute, it, you can, it changes all the time and the responsibility of it is mixed between planning board and uh, board of select. Okay. So it's, uh, okay. it's, but there is a signed bylaw. Okay, uh, that, that would cover the town. Uh, yeah. Okay. yeah, yeah, we, we, we would be okay there. Yeah, yeah I think it would just be, you could just have a, a table kind of on the size of the project, you know, the nature of the project, the size of the project, and what we, you know, what kind of signage we would have. I just think we need a brand, you know, like a, some sort of a tag that says, you know, like if you go to London, they have the blue historical, you know, plaques on the historical building, and it's, it's pretty, very clear cut, and that's sort of the symbol of this is a historical building, you know. You yeah. see when you're going through the different historic districts, and it really they do stand out. The signs that were up when the, the Capitol building, the big signs when they were building the uh, superintendent's office, and any time yeah. those big signs get like, you know what? That's what's happening. You know, they people want to know. So I think, and even something that's beyond just like a kiosk, because it's people driving by that can see it and realize, oh, you know, all this stuff is right there in front of them. And you know, it, I, I think a, a standardized sign would be a great idea. So, who's our artist? No, I think we, you know, I, I think we go. Wouldn't we use the town symbol? Yeah. I mean, we would already use yeah. existing yeah. North End of a town, but we're not going to create our own. I wouldn't yeah. think. No, I think we'd use the town so sort of, yeah, <laughs> you know, branding <laughs> scheme. Well, that's and figure out. Is, yeah. is there a branding scheme for the it town? Well, I mean, there's a typeface, the there's a symbol, you know, there's a seal. The street signs, yeah. all of the signage, and yeah. um, so all the street but, but signs But I mean, like, something and, that's more, uh, you know, markers like entrance to the town or something like that, because that it, it would be more along something like that. We did do that a number of years back. We started yeah. that with well, all of our, and, you know, Welcome to North Anna, the Wood, the Greens, the Maroons, mm -hmm. um, uh, no, we went in the maroons, well, because the high school's red and black, but red is red, so it's maroons on the entrance signs. But when you get into the historical districts, those are, no, those are the same colors. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're still, they're all maroon with gold letters, mm -hmm. and they don't have, you know, the Chickawick symbol with the, with, um, mm -hmm. they but don't have that, like but that is the town. There's nothing like in the old center historical district. There's no signage, is there? 
uh, uh, over here, yeah, down in Machine Shop Village. When you're oh, Machine Shop Village, there is. Yeah. Those are, that's the what I mean. Only recently not. have yeah. we begun to, yeah. to maybe within the last half dozen years, have yeah. we? I mean, we also made changes with all the street signs. Right. Uh, you know, small changes as 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 time has gone on, but there 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 has been a concerted effort, yeah. albeit light, but to brand the community. Yeah. Um, I mean, because we would want to do it as part of a consistent branding. Right. And, I mean, I don't. I, I don't know if we'd want is every project you can have the big like the big welcome signs. I mean, I, 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 well, something subtle. Something yeah. subtle, and then any of the new buildings that you know. I mean, they always have the brass. Right. Um, yeah. You know, the bronze, rather. You know, at the end nameplates yeah. at the entrance. Mm -hmm. it, it really. I mean, I think it's it's difficult for us to say, oh, we're going to have this kind of sign because. We are going to be working with historical, and you know we're not going to put a big, huge sign in front of Ridgewood Cemetery that right. says no, we're, we're not going. Do you know what I'm it's, saying? It's, so it's, it's going to vary. It's, it's, and going, it's, to going, vary. And it's right. going to vary. I'm just wondering, project to project. I mean, it's you know you think about it when the more you, you say sign, it's actually kind of nuanced. I mean, yeah, it, it, it absolutely. Be, right. You know, right. And, surely uh, I guess the question will be. Who do we go to for technical advice for something like this? So, I mean, I think we, we start with the town and yeah, the DPW and what, what guidelines they have for this, you know, the latest signs they're putting up. And then we, you know, it is a matter of sort of proportion. And, you know, I mean, there's I mean, a lot of, again, there's, there's a lot of people doing similar things with markers. And we could look to mm -hmm. other towns and, mm -hmm. yeah. you know, and how they... Mm -hmm. Go with their historical properties you know, versus the, like their, on the trails. You, could, you know, it's much easier to have a big sign finance right. by or whatever. Yeah. That well, I mean, we had to probably uh, talk to like the a, uh, trustees too. Yes, uh, yes, yes, yes. So because they obviously like are really though, good you, at you branding. You might want a yeah. tiny little yeah. lawn sign over in the corner, yeah. right? Or at the first building. You're yeah. not going to put it at those uh, gorgeous the, gates. You, yeah. You're just not. Yeah. And, and I, I like I would vote against that. Right. <laughs> you know, yeah. You know? Right. So yeah. uh, while you want community preservation to I, be I, recognized I, and known, and the tax base to know what we're doing, and the good that's coming from here, you also don't want to take away from the one of some of the projects. So I definitely right. think. Yeah. It's yeah I mean, it's interesting. I, I, the thought that I had that is going forward, we should bake that into our approvals. And right. uh, one of the things they do is they come back to us with that, but we give them the guidelines Agreed. of the, the parameters. We just have to uh, develop them. And that could be something added to the checklist in our, you know, that's yes, what yes. Yeah. Yeah. we want to love. So, mm -hmm. but I mean. You would pay for it out of our funding? Uh, yeah, I mean, I yeah, I, I think in the end, you know, if it's chunk change, a few thousand dollars a year, I don't think anybody really cares. Yeah. Uh, well, at least my so. next question is, do we go back in brand past funded projects? I think we can to the extent that you know, and I want to talk yeah, about actually a few of them now because I think there's some opportunities to right. do that in some cases, mm -hmm. and maybe what we do is we just pick them up gradually over time anyway. Uh, right. But I want to get back to just. Is who has some appetite to go do a little bit of research on this one uh, and talk to people because I think it, it'll take a little bit of work, yeah. you know. I mean, yeah. I mean, I could, I mean, I do signage just because I do commercial real estate. So I like talking to sign designers and then I'm talking to well, but, marketing yeah. people, I mean, you know, and so know, forth. So I don't. Uh, time into this myself, and I think Terry yeah. would be interested. Yeah. So oh, yeah. Terry, Terry would be. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So. So why don't I, the well, three of us, we could make a motion or something. Yeah, like somebody that. make a motion and we'll form another subcommittee. <laughs> so, <laughs> the signage Second subcommittee. Yeah. Yeah. All in favor? Uh, Aye. Uh, okay. And Bill, I think maybe you and Terry and yeah. you know, certainly anybody else that, that is interested. Okay. Yeah. I think from subcommittee to committee. Exactly. Yeah, yeah exactly. that's right. Yeah. Yeah. Can't, can't have a quorum. No. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. And that's Can that's that. Over time? I love it. <laughs> Thanks, Bill. That was good. Yes. Very good. Yeah, good. Thank Excellent. you, Bill. Good yeah. stuff. Uh, well. I kind of like this uh, symbol anyway of the town. Yeah. 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 You know. So. Well, I don't think we should shy. I don't think we should shy away from that. Yeah. No. 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 Calling the acceptance is well known around the town. Yeah. 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 Definitely. So. Um. The second uh, item I had was. Um, we're. I don't have the final town uh, 
the calendar for the town manager for a town meeting. Does it exist yet? Oh, it's in a package. Good. See, I don't read things in advance. Uh, so let's take a look at this. So I think the key date for us is that this February 8th date, that is the date that we get our um, all the proposals in. And it's always over the years either been anywhere from the end of January to the middle of February. So I think February 8th is fine. I don't see that as, as being a uh, big problem. Um, I notice here they want us to come on the, the 7th. And the four, can we come on the 14th? Uh, the, yeah, but we're always going to have an article in there. Yeah. Well, then if we have to do, we have to do it. That just means that we'll have to, during the month of uh, February, we'll have to meet fairly often. Yeah. yeah. Is everybody, you know, okay with that? Uh, a couple of other things that, uh, you know, related to dates. I mean, we, we have to get the form completed. That's why, you know, and I think we should do that quickly. And maybe we can, you know, as I said, I'll, uh, I'll come up with some edits and everybody can yep. change it as, as they see fit. Um, typically, we didn't do it last year, but most years we have a meeting at uh, Stevens Estate with the Stevens Estate Board. Last year we had a meeting with Stevens Estate, but not with their board. Yeah. 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 Community preservation reports the 14th. Public hearings. The, the public hearings, the 7th. So what does that mean? So Stevens Estate then. Is the 7th, right? Oh, the, yeah, but we can have that anytime. We don't necessarily have to have it on the 7th. Uh, but we can, that's fine. Uh, but the report, is is that the report? where we have all of our stuff into the selectmen is yeah. oh, okay okay so i mean there's there's two things i you know that i was thinking that we wanted one is we have always met or most years met with the stevens state board out there that's when we we do our thing we didn't do that last year because we had our public meeting there um I know a lot of you probably haven't been on the committee when we've had one of the meetings with them, but they've generally been pretty productive. Um, uh, it was probably back when Stevens Estate wasn't doing very well and we were funding most of their capital improvements. I think we you know, had more reason to meet with them all the time, but now that they're doing better, I think they have a better story to tell. But I, I still think we, we ought to visit with them, you know, you know, maybe for our January meeting if yeah, and then we can do our business after. But you know, I just want to get people's thoughts on that. It, you know, Why? to meet with them. Yeah. Yeah, because we've always we've done it and we've got good feedback from them. Right, but do we meet with the historical society or the Ridgewood Board? I, I just don't understand why it's done. Uh, it, well, it's be partly because it's at the facility. It's an excuse to use the facility. They're going to let us <laughs> but use also, the facility. But, it, you know, because nice. it's one of the groups I, that, no, yeah. I've been there, but I don't, yeah. I don't know why we're specifically having a meeting. I, I, I just don't, I don't get why. Yeah. Uh, it, it's I'm not to learn it, about. I'm no, no, I mean, it's, it's a good dialogue with them because they're running the facility on a, uh, to understand the long-term economics of that because it's but one of. But do we do this with other people? Well, I think it's Stephen State's a unique property. I mean, uh, because it is a town-owned property. Um, we've funded a lot of the capital investment for the property. Uh, it is probably, if you think about it, it's 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 the largest property that we've invested money in over the years. So, uh, and so. Um, I mean, it's actually a, an interesting question because, to Tracy's point about that, maybe one thing we could say is to you know, each of our sort of major constituents, the historic society slash commission, the um, housing authority, <laughs> the fields committee. Yeah. Maybe we could invite, I mean, maybe we could invite each of them 
and the Stevens estate, we could go there. I mean, maybe we could just say, a December meeting, we'll, we could extend a formal invitation to two groups. We could do the same thing in January and February and just say, you know, if you have a project, that's great. If you don't, that's I, great. I, I don't get it. What? <laughs> no, I mean, I just. I'm not following why. <laughs> well, I mean, I think what well, John is saying that the back group, we've invested a lot of money they've been into the property, and it's been useful to meet with their board and understand you know, what might be coming up over years, and it's good sort of stakeholder engagement, I guess I'd put it that, that way. Is okay. that part of it? And, okay. and I think when you look at it, yeah, because just about every year, well, we've been, we thought we were going to get Kathy in uh, this month, but she's going to come next month. So we'll get the housing authority. And then, you know, I think that's where you bring them in, I think, once a year. I think we should bring the historical society in. I think we should bring the library in. Mm -hmm. I mean, but I we, we want to do this at the most busiest time of the year. This is what I'm not following. <laughs> uh, shouldn't we be out and, looking and like? You're not going to be, you're not going to be that busy at the December meeting. We're not going to be that busy. Are they coming forward with something this year? Stevens Estate. The Stevens Estate. I don't know. No. no. I was just curious. I don't, I don't know, know what their I'm capital plan is. I don't think they will, but they might. You know. Right. So that my point to that is just why aren't we engaging people who are going to be coming forward as opposed well, to, we, we, I mean, we can go there and have the meeting. Yeah, I just I mean, don't get you it. Know, it. The guy that has I don't the best figure in the poll shows, but who, uh, uh, who's out there and is doing stuff is Terry. He's not here tonight. But we just about always, anybody that we know that's going to bring a project in, we have them come in and talk to us before they apply. I just don't know of any that are coming forward. If, if anybody knows anything that's coming forward, we should bring them in next month. Well, I think I, I, Charles is going to come forward. Yeah. But the same thing that you always done? I don't think so. No. What do you, what's going to be different? We might have a project, a targeted project, but not sure yet. So it's not just going to be a request for 100000 a specific property? Not sure yet. <laughs> yeah, it will be a specific property. Yes. But I have all the details. Okay. No, I mean, that's fine. But, you know, is the reason why we've never done a specific property in the past is that it's very difficult to line the timing up perfectly. And that's why we give you money so you can do it whenever you this want. This timing is, is perfect. Yeah. Well, I, I looked, I'm excited. Let's, you think if so? It comes together, it'll be a good thing. So. so, is it still private? I mean, can we go into executive session and talk about it? Or, you know, when would you like to first come and talk to us about it? Um, probably January. Okay. Maybe uh, December. Yeah. I mean, you, you know, obviously the earlier that we have some visibility of it, it socializes with the group. But if you don't have enough detail, you can't come to us by that anyway, so. Right. Right. Yeah, no, I mean, it's, it's it has to do with the subject of property. I mean, we've already discussed it at the Affordable Housing Trust, so. Yeah. We just don't, we, we just haven't worked out the details. Don't know if it's going to come to fruition. Yeah. But if it does, we, we will be coming to it. Yeah. So I think we all along, whenever we get through the phases of all of this and they present something, then come back and well, we, you know, we want to hear more about it and that kind of thing. But I think um, meeting with the board up at uh, Stevens Estate, I think they don't have a project right now, but I also think that it's important to maintain the partnership that's been established in the past. I think that's that's where I see it more of, you know many dollars have gone to them and, and, and kept them afloat and got them in a good place. So, um, you know, maintaining and keeping that connection, that partnership, I think is healthy no matter whether they have a project or not. So to have a, a meeting there and do that, that I think that's the kind of thing we want our, our committee to be. I agree with you on that. I think it would, you know, be beneficial for both parties. So, so let me ask you this. The, let's say we let's do March 7th for our annual meeting. That's fine. Um, it, 
where and how do we want to do it? We, we're under no requirement to do exactly what we did last year. Uh, we can literally do a regular meeting and just have people come and advertise it, or we could do something much more robust. The Double question. Was it we did it Stevens Estate. Stevens estate. Yeah, we yeah, had, we, had uh, the, we were able to get Stuart Saginaw, who was the head of the Community Preservation Coalition, came in. He spoke. I don't think we were able to get any of the politicians to come. But, uh, but the question is if, you know, we can, and there was one time in the past, probably about 10 years ago, we <laughs> ended up having, I think, I think Bruce Tarr came or somebody else came, you know. Uh, but the question is, what kind of do we want, you know, that might be an opportunity to get people who've done past projects to come in and talk about them just in general, about what kind of positive impact it had. It, it could be just about anything, but I guess, what, what would people like to see in that meeting? What, well, you might get some politicians this year because I do believe there's a push for more funding for community preservation, and we yeah. just recently had an election where <laughs> at least two of the newly elected are committed to community yeah. preservation. So. You know, you do have new senator, while well, she's been around quite some time, of course, Diana, but, you know, and you've got, you, you've got um, Christina now as well, and, right. and that's a, so they may, you, we may I mean, be they, able they, to pull they, it um, off, is my uh, point. Uh, is point. You know, I, I, do, I do believe based on, I, uh, they apparently got like $15 million in the state budget mm. for last year, but the weird thing is the timing was such that the, the the matching is going to come out in November, yeah. uh, but it, the this extra fifteen million may not come out then. It may come out later, right. or it may come out even with next year. They don't know. So, right. you know. But you want friendlies at the you know. Yeah, I mean we could. If, but then again, it's like if you if you do something where you get politicians, you, you got to put on a good show. That's uh, true. Uh, and you got to put a little bit more work into it. So the question yeah, would be, right? Yeah. You know, yeah. Uh, I mean, Bruce Stark came to the uh, thing at uh, Wire Hill, the parking lot uh, dedication. Uh, event. Yeah, yeah, dedication, yeah. Uh, so. Either or, I mean, we need to continue to lobby them as they go into budgets. Yeah, no, there's no doubt about that. There's no doubt about it. And I think, I think actually having somebody from North Andover in the, the State House with Christina is big. I think that's that's a good thing, you know, because um, it's been it's been a long time since we've had since, since Joe since Herman. David, really. No, since oh, David, David Teresi. Right, since, yeah, <laughs> since David. Joe Herman. Good since Lord, Herman. rest his yeah. soul. <laughs> <laughs> that's right, since David. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and prior yeah. to that was Donna Fournier. Yeah. You're yeah, way right. you're dating yeah, yourself, yeah, right. John. Right. Mother God, of what goodness. Am I yeah. <laughs> since Joe Herman. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think we, yeah, I think we could do a pro. We could put a program together again, and you know. You want to do it again? Sure, I'll do it again. Yeah. I, don't I, see, I have the, not much would change. We can just do no, the slides, and that's right. Yeah, I think it's a question of uh, getting it? people to come. I think is the biggest thing yeah. is and and maybe lining up. I mean, uh, maybe we can line up one of the two people. You know, a couple of people have done past projects. Mm -hmm. uh, and I mean, the other thing would be to get, you know, what always happens with these things, it's always the usual suspects who come. And it would be, if there was any way we could get some additional people that we don't normally get, you know, a different constituency, I don't know if there's a way to do right that. Now, just so recent to post election, there's a lot of um, networking that's still. For sure, still there's happening. Newly engaged people in, and, and in, in North Andover in particular. There's a lot of newly tapping to that now while they're folks. still, yeah. So I think MB is absolutely correct. If we start to tap into that and at least, you know, I mean, I still get calls. I haven't been on the board in two and a half years and I, or whatever, and I still get calls. What is what is that extra 3% on my tax bill? So I think you said you get the calls about how come they're going to pick up my trash? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I put him in danger. Yeah. <laughs> that was always a back and forth. Yeah. yeah, no, I still don't get that, but it's funny, you know. So I think I think MB's right, though. There's a lot of newly engaged. Um, and it might be great for us to, to a lot of, lot of young families, you know, the, mm -hmm. the younger, 
families and and well, I think that would be great. Really, I mean, I think yeah, I think that, that's a good call. I'm you thinking. know, one of the, like one of the guys that I'd love to bring in, and maybe we could just have him in from one of the meetings. Is the guy who runs the trails committee, Glenn. Yeah, yeah he's, right. he's, he's great. just yeah. a super guy, he and is. you know, very passionate about what he's doing. And you know, I mean, some of the play is just getting more volunteers for the town for yeah. the, the different things, yeah. I think. Uh, I think, too, so. it would be a nice time to have someone from the Fields Committee have a presentation of how that's in process moving yeah. forward. And that in itself is enough to pull to pull people in, in if you to give pull an people, update. Yeah, that's that's true. Even And we could ask Andrew. Yeah, to, we should, to, we should to have Andrew come. Yeah. Have Andrew come and maybe yeah. do a presentation on that in particular. You know, yeah. kind of in, I hate to put more on his plate, but oh well. Yeah. <laughs> hey, he hasn't been one of our meetings you know? in a while. Uh, <laughs> even the, the people that came and made the presentation here for the for the project that have been working on it, I can't remember mm -hmm. his name. Yeah. yeah. Rick? Rick? Yes. Rick. Yeah. Uh, and, you know, the, the right. pictures, the posters, questions, and it can even be... Um, you know, touted as what is that three percent? Yeah. You know, did yeah, you did you ever sure. wonder? I love it. Did you ever wonder what that CPA that CPC yeah, three percent? Yeah, come cool. find out. And, and I think this year we're in a probably in a better position than we were last year in so far as kind of putting it together while it was good. It, it I feel like now we know what to do. Do, do, do you know what I'm saying? Like this year is an opportunity to really get some fingers out there and invite different people in if we kind of do put a little bit of a marketing spin on it where we didn't necessarily do that last year. You know, every year you get better, whatever. So I, I like it. I like yeah. it. Good. Okay, so we'll, we'll take the day. What about the venue? Stevens, yeah. You want to do Stevens yeah. again? Okay. No, yeah. No, I think it's a, I think it's a great. Well, well, then I'll, I'll send her a note tomorrow to see if we can get that day. It's yeah. one of the it's best a jewel, and it's one of the most the, one of the best showcases of what we've done. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. yeah it's, a, a, it's always fun to go there. You know? Yeah. Yeah. So, okay. That's awesome. Awesome. Um, the. I think the third item, we kind of, the first and the third tied together, so we already, I think we've been through on this. Yeah, uh, Donovan, if you got just some more you want to add, just no, in terms of, yeah. No, I don't. I mean, yeah. I'm still, we're still doing my research and stuff, but I mean, I think, you know, maybe now is the appropriate time to do the subcommittee for the, for the criteria yeah. thing, you know, so can we make, can we... Okay, so why don't you I'd make like a to make a to movement, fact. Um, yeah. a movement, a motion to, <laughs> <Yeah>. uh, <laughs> to, uh, to, uh, to create a subcommittee to discuss and craft the criteria um, for approving projects. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. So any anybody else? I mean, I think I'd, I'd like, yeah, you clearly, yeah. if you could take the lead on yep. that, that'd be great. Yeah, I, uh, Terry may want to, and yeah, yeah. you know, that's, that's yeah. good. I mean, it's. Unofficially, yeah. Unofficially? Yeah, okay. Yeah, unofficially, great. officially. That's fine. Yeah. That's good. So, good. That's great. Okay. That's great. Um, the parking lot thing, I had this whimsical idea, and I'm not sure we can get, but I'd like to maybe some Saturday, uh, if, if people had time, spend a couple hours and go from place to place. It's twofold purpose. One is to see all the projects, the open space projects we've done as CPA, but also to take a look at the quality of the parking. Uh, some of them have it, some of them, most of them have it, but not all of them. Uh, but they're not all in great shape, and we might want to think about what we need to do new. And I, that was the thing where I'd bring somebody like Glenn and maybe somebody else that you would recommend from the, uh, uh, the, the Conservation Jennifer, Commission. I did, I did speak with yeah. uh, Jennifer Hughes, um, our conservation administrator, and um, she had said about the Rolling Ridge, there has been a new leadership at Rolling Ridge and this uh, the director is is Lawrence J and he um, he he feels as though he wasn't required they're not required to do a, the parking lot yeah, so right true. now that is okay. an issue because they are required to do it okay. so I don't well, that's, I mean, and I've talked to him a couple times and I want to you know kind of keep a cordial relationship because he's yeah. a nice person but 
That's He's not negotiable. Okay. Well, really? Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. Really? So, the, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Terry actually got thrown off. Terry actually got thrown yeah. off. Yeah. He's not right. the only person. So, so. Right. yeah. But that's a little bit what I want but, to do is I want to go hit all of the things. Yeah. Yeah. And so, uh, if, uh, if we, one of the things that we simple. did probably years back, Deb, I think you were in the committee. We, uh, before town meeting, we went to the location of every single project. Yes, that was Saturday. fun. That, that was, was fun. really fun. Great it was a nice day, though. It, it wasn't it rainy or nice snowing or anything. So, yeah. Yeah. if everybody could nice. get, if you have an interest, yeah. send a note yeah. about which nice. Saturdays you could do. I'm not sure. Yeah. I think Saturday's probably the best time yeah. because, yeah. you know, with the, you can't do anything after work now because yeah. it's, uh, it's too dark. It's too dark. But, you know, so. But, uh, I mean, but, that, I would. Like to have a little bit more discussion on parking lots than just let's meet on some Saturday. Well, well let's do that first, uh, and then after. No, we John, on. absolutely not. There's, there's. I'm not to be, but this, these parking lot discussions have gone on for years, years. I don't need to well, go I visit. That, I but visited which ones all of them. Have well, Academy I, Road, for instance, was specifically bought for to become a parking lot because we need parking up at the old well, center. There's been no movement. I'm, That's at least four I'm or five fine, years old. I'm the fine one with doing that, but. Would, well, then, to, Kim, I want to make a list of all of them and talk about it at the next yeah. meeting. What do you want to do? I mean, how many meetings are we going to put parking lots on the agenda, though, is kind well, of my what's your point. point. Do you want to have the discussion? Well, now? I'm not going to argue with you, with you, John. We've been arguing about it for a number no, of I years, and I, there I've is an issue so, at Casey, the, at I've, the I've, other. I've never, with all due respect, well, I've what, never had the an argument. The trails with that we've paid that. for are now being filled in with brush because there's no parking over at the Usla property. That parking lot, that's years and years and years waiting for that. And now, now, because residents know, don't know that they can use it, when you go, it's the, the trail that has been cleared is all getting well, filled in with brush and, and landscape. And, and I'd like to and, resolve it. So I don't understand. Well, For me, I guess the issue is is why can't we just move forward with the parking lots that were sold with the projects to the people well, here in North Ando? I, I don't get. I don't understand. I think you're right. I think you're right. So, I think that's exactly. Well, what then we why do we have do. to go visit it? Why can't we just start the project that should be done at well, Academy or the Earth properties? But you've got to have somebody those. go off and do it. But and but John, these are old old projects that were sold at town meeting that included parking so, lots. Okay, well so then, why can't we just get it done? I don't, okay, I don't, well I don't well then get it. Why don't you take the lead and do it? Happy to. Good. Okay. Good. Great. Right. Thank you. You're welcome. Because you seem to know the answer and nobody else does. No. So. Well, my, my problem with it has been the problem that I've had for three or four years that many projects come forward and have come forward to the Board of Selectmen and then <sighs> brought forward at town meeting that we all vote yes on, but they don't get done. Well, then fine. Take the lead and get them done. And, and it just seems like it's parking lots, and I don't, I well, don't get why. Well, then fine. Then if it's so easy, make it happen. I'm not care. saying it's so glad. easy. I'm asking you why it's been so difficult. I don't know. I've been asking for many years, where are the parking but, lots? That's all I'm asking. And I don't get an answer. I don't get why. Well, they, I just don't understand. I don't understand why. Because the the accountability is diffuse. I mean, because the what? The accountability of putting them together is diffuse. That's why. Has diffused. Diffuse. It's spread out. It's nobody feels the sense of ownership of it. I mean, I I, I would like to do it, okay. but if 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 you sit there and say, well, let's talk about it, and you say, well, we haven't done it for three or four years. I mean. Well, I feel, I mean, I know since I've been on the committee, we've talked about parking well, lots, well, but I, we don't do I, anything I, about them. I know that. Well, then I offered to start to do something, and you said that was a stupid idea. No, so, I, I, I mean, did not it, say that, John. Well, I you, wouldn't you be you that did. disrespectful and say it's well, that's effectively stupid what you idea. Said. That's not what I said at all. I said, I don't need to spend a Saturday looking at parking okay, lots that I've then, been talking about okay, for years. Okay, then fine. So you then don't have if to be, you have a better solution, you, then you go off and do it. No, this... It, well, wow, it's question. weird. I think there's a question. So weird. The question to me just seems like maybe we need to do a little bit of research in terms of let's like take the Usler property and the Academy Road property and so forth and just say like, okay, both those situations where we engage with a private party yes. to, to purchase yes. a, a, a piece of land for open space conservation. Yes. And in those situations, they are a little bit unique because we're not it's not like we're going to the trustees to do open space and they're going to do the whole thing where they manage 
the open space and they build the parking lot and the trails. So, so these are definitely hybrid things. So the question then becomes, when we did a project like that, who owned building the parking lot? And the, the question, you know, so that's where I think the, we should be able to the accountability that. goes because it, you know, that is be it the, the DPW? Is it a direct? Uh, Wouldn't it be actually, the town? I think it's under the ownership of the Conservation Commission. So then we just need to bring these projects to the Conservation Commission and say, please yeah. get them done. Have they already been funded? Yes. yes. Oh, yeah. Years, yeah. many years. Yeah. So the so money's sitting there unspent. Correct. Right. Yep. And I can also um, check with Jennifer because when I spoke with her about this Rolling Ridge property, um, they, she said that they, well, as I said, and you said no, they aren't required to do it. Now, I will further look into that and why aren't they? Because what is supposed to happen is they are supposed to pave that driveway. Yes. And it has to be permitted by an RDA mm -hmm. through Conservation mm -hmm. Commission. So I will check on that and I will get back right. to you and find out um, why it isn't done and what we need to do to push forward. And um, and then also too, Tracy, with your um, with your knowledge and your finesse. Well evidently not much finesse to see. <laughs> I think it would be but thank you. I think it would be a very good idea. Yeah. I think it would be an excellent idea, you know, with your charm to or meet with <laughs> no, to meet with uh, 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 the new director Lawrence J at the Rolling Ridge and to kind of like, you know, um, make yes, sure that absolutely. Yeah, I, I think I that's a good idea. You, yeah, that would be wonderful. Would. And if we could pull the old project, and and maybe Laurie could pull that old project, um, so that I have, you know, that we have everything, and then make an appointment with him and go discuss with him, and you know, in a really nice, friendly way. But it, it has to be done. Yeah. We sold these projects, and I, and John, I, I, I'm, I'm not looking to upset you, but it's all we have sold many a project with parking lots. And when I tell you that's all I hear about is where are the parking lots. So Tr Tracy, maybe we And it's it's just I want to be fair to the to the people that came to town meeting that we sold these projects because they came with parking lots and access to things we spent their money on. That's all. Tr Tracy, can maybe can we start with these three? Can we start Yes, with, well, I think that's so a wonderful so, idea. So let's do that. Then uh, you know I guess I'll make a motion to do a parking lot subcommittee or I'm whatever in. it is. I second. And we'll start with these three properties. I think Terry yeah. would be interested, pull, but he's pull, out. Pull the projects. Yeah, wonderful. Put our ducks in a row and go talk to these folks. I think it's great. Well, and it sounds like to me like the Rolling Ridge situation would be a slightly different one where you're talking about a third private party yes. versus to something that's already totally. public in the town. Yes, I think the other two probably. Going to Hong Kong and saying, okay, you got the money. Where is it in your project schedule? Right. Yeah. And if it's not, why? Exactly. Make up the plans for the. I mean, that's the whole thing. I don't. Does anybody know like where the ball is? Like, is the conservation committee designing the parking lot, and then taking the original? Yeah. That's where we got to start. Yeah, we start there. We start with the originals. These three, and then we go from there. Figure it out. Yeah. Perfect. John, does that work for you? That's fine. Okay. So we want a motion. I second. Okay. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Denovan and I, and Deb, could yeah, you help? Sure. Okay, okay. thanks. Yeah. So, with all we have left is the minutes. Somebody like to make a motion to approve the minutes? I will, uh, I'd like to make a motion to approve the minutes from last October 11th. Second. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Abstain. Oh, that's right. Yeah, I guess I you have can. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> so, anything else before we close? Okay. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. All right.